Welcome to the screencast. My name is Mr. Gauvin and we are going to uh, look at the iMedia June 2016 12 mark question. In this question, he was asked to evaluate this uh, draft of a visualization diagram. OCR had laid a couple of uh, traps for you. The first one is that this is a downloadable information sheet. It is not a website. Next one is uh, the target audience for this document is the designer. It is not the target audience for the Kids Father Day campaign. As always in these questions, there's always something good in, uh, in the document you're asked to evaluate and something bad because it is not finished. It's only a first draft. So after finding what's good and what's bad, you have got to make a judgment and uh, um, make some suggestion about how to improve it. For the higher mark, you need to stay in the context of the main task. So in the case of June 2016, this was Kids Five a Day. And what type of pre-production document you've been asked to produce. If we scroll down to um, an answer I've written above, to recap, we've got one image, a title, and a couple of text boxes in our draft of um, visualization diagram. To help me structure the document, I've got one section for the good point, one section for the bad point, before my final evaluation where I make the judgment and explain how I would make it better. If it helps you to get started, you can draw in the margin of your exam paper uh, one box for the good points, and you can even write good in the margin, one box for the uh, uh, bad points, and then one for your final evaluation. The examiner will ignore what you've done in the margin. He might, they might even appreciate your effort at structuring your document. And do not worry if you have some empty space, empty lines in between your sections. The examiner, she would just ignore that and move on to the next part, you know, the next piece that you've write, uh, written. So what did I found in that uh, June 2016 example that was good? Uh, the title was clear and it was made to stand out because it had a text box and a border. Um, and there was a bullet point list of key item, I understand, in the uh, key item section as well as uh, the history of the campaign. And there's one image. Now, why did I write it this way? Because um, I'm dropping some keywords which are important for the context of, of um, this question. So text box and border and title, this is in the context of what you find in a visualization diagram. Um, and, um, and then I go here into, uh, if it is an information sheet, there should be some text in an information sheet. So this time the context of the documents that you are uh, in the process of creating. Now for the bad points, there's quite a lot to say, but I've been very careful to keep it balanced. Traditionally in these questions, there's always blank space. So you can start with that one. Um, and then there are no annotations, so you can add this one as well. I've um, also found that in the context of um, downloadable information sheet, you would not have hyperlinks. This is a, this is a, something you'd find in the web site, not uh, an information sheet. But there should be the address uh, of the website where you can find more information. So here, again, I'm dropping some keywords and I'm showing that I do understand exactly the documents that I've been asked to analyze as well as um, its target audience when I go to um, the fact that uh, there's not enough annotation to guide the designer. Uh, the designer would need to know what's the name of the font, uh, what's the color of the text, um, and then the fact that the font size or main title is larger, should be larger than for the text boxes. Having highlighted all these different points, I can then make my judgment, which is that it's not yet ready for its, uh, its final use because it's missing some key contents. And then how can we improve this? 
well there should, there's got to be uh, uh, the annotations to give uh, font name size color um, here I'm mentioning that there should be a logo for this web uh, for this campaign um, and then the web address I've explained earlier as well as the title um, and then I make a final suggestion about the layout um, and then uh, instead of having a big large block of text all in the middle of a document if you're putting your text and you mingle it with some images it would make the whole document more interesting visually appealing to uh, to um, to the people who would read it thank you very much for listening to uh, this screencast and i look forward to seeing your improved work in your mock exam